Alright guys, what's up? It's Nathan Sanguinetti, YouTuber. I've always been intrigued by the trip reports. Uh, those were like some of the earliest YouTube videos I would watch where people like talking about their experiences with psychedelics. Well, I'm gonna do one even better. I happen to have my hands on some fun guy, some psilocybin, and we're just gonna vlog my trip. Hey, these are golden teachers. Pretty strong mushrooms, typically. And I'm just kind of ready to trip. Are you eating all the mushrooms? Yeah. This is for educational <laughs> research purpose only. Educational. We are scientists. Scientists. We are conducting science in this house right now. <laughs> on my brain. Alright, so, Nate Sanguinetti here, you already know. Alright, so I said every 20 minutes I was going to check in after ingesting the psilocybin. It, it was T minus zero, it was five five when we started, when I ate the mushrooms. Now it's five twenty seven and a half. Well, what does that mean? That's, so it's like 22 and a half minutes after I ate them? Oh my god, yeah, I guess. Alright, so let me give you some history in my experience. Uh, me having a high metabolism and like especially I like to ingest mushrooms when they're like, like powder, like crushed up. Because they hit you so fast. Like it's only been 20 minutes and I'm already... Wonky? Perception is changing. I feel kind of weird right now. I'm about to go into the gas station. I'm excited to be doing this. This is fun. But anyway, so this is just me checking in after 20 something minutes. Yeah, I definitely already am feeling these mushrooms. I'm starting to get nauseous too. So like, if I vomit. We'll get it on camera. We're gonna get that on camera. I've always handled mushrooms well as far as my stomach, but the past couple times I've eaten them, they actually have me pretty nauseous and I vomit. But like, after I vomit, and like with mescaline, they call it like the purge, like once you, something about like after you, you throw up, it's almost like you throw up the poison and then you start the trip just like smack you in the face almost. It's like a, it's like a reaction in your body. What do you think about that? Like, I, I don't know why that Because after you like throw up, it's, it's like. Maybe that it's because your, your like your body's going through a drastic change. Maybe like you throw up because the mushrooms have been digested, and that's how you know like they're gonna start working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't yeah, know. That's for sure. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm already. So I'm trying what's, to tell the five, time. No, no. The five hours. <laughs> what is this? Less than thirty minutes. I'm already having this. I'm already in the gas station, like, things are, you know, growing, like, expanding and, you know, re retracting. I'm like, where? Got my beer. 999? <laughs> $9 Alright, so, obviously I'm already, like, feeling. It's great. I'm, it feels good. I can't wait to see how this night goes now. <laughs> Anything to say, babe? <laughs> uh, no, you're just cute. I'm just cute? Yeah. I'll okay. can't. <laughs> I heard about those things. It's uh, like we're vlogging the experience. No, you're on Lala Lala. That is different. Lala Lala. La -la -la. right. But see, people, people really like to watch that. They like to watch that. Entertaining videos the about first, like, the things that maybe they've that never... seen about mushrooms, a uh, person that had been mushrooms, yeah. holy God. What, they like lost it? No. He did it in the desert. It was, it was cool. Oh, so he like really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it see, that's crazy, already, though. that's already good vibes. That's already good vibes. <laughs> no. Time violation. Dude, what? The police oh, are yeah. everywhere right now, like, blocking off the road. Oh my god, open the fucking door! Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that was just dry heaving. Oh my god. What are you laughing at? Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Officially been 57 minutes since I ate the mushrooms. I'm pretty full blown tripping. I don't think this. I don't think the trip's gonna get that much more intense. Like I think I'm pretty much kind of like peaking. Maybe it'll get a little more intense. I don't know. This is pretty solid. Maybe I should try to explain my visuals right now. Like. All right, what, this, okay, this this door, right, to you, I'm asking, like, does it just look like a plain black door, or do you see textures? Um, it's pretty much a plain black door, I guess. But you see, like, scratch marks on it? Yeah. Right, so, like, I can differentiate that, like, I, but I'm seeing, like, crazy lines and, like, architecture that's, like, popping out <laughs> of it and <laughs> it's fucking crazy dude for a second i didn't even like when we first came out here i was like for, i like lost all notion of, is that door open or closed is that even a door was that a, a pathway very, it's a very philosophical question it's like like it, it disappeared it like it like went away it was just like, what was behind it it was just like black, and it was just, it's like moving. I mean, this was for like a split second. I was like, what the fuck, you know? I was like, is the door closing and closing, or is it opening and opening? I don't know. And just our like, I don't know, what is this, like plaster? Stucco. Stucco? Yeah. I'm totally fucking vibing with that, like I'm seeing a... Like continents, a lot of geography. Kind of giving me like a weird feeling myself. Like, <laughs> man, this is intense, man. I see a lot of faces using on mushrooms. Like I see like all kinds of faces, like within like woodwork, and, like wood patterns. Whose faces? Probably my ancestor. <laughs> My fucking, Probably. My fucking dead Native American ancestor. Like, yo, we see you, man. We see you. We know you onto something, right? We, we know you tripping. Not seeing very many, like, color changes. Like, I've had mushrooms, like, wall to wall colors are, like, <laughs> like, going out of control. But, like, everything's pretty much staying the same color right now like I'm seeing different hues like this is black but I'm seeing like orange and like purple glares but like nothing's like changing color nothing's like that intense or crazy so how long is that for me? Was it like for minutes? five minutes was that five minutes yeah. for real though yeah that's crazy crazy <laughs> time dilation for a second I'll be like oh I feel hungry and this hurts but you might just be cold well, th that's a whole different thing, but what I'm saying in my experience is like, I can take like, oh, this hurts, and be like, actually, maybe it kind of feels good. Like, what is, like, good or bad? And that's where I can like, that's why mushrooms are like really neutral a lot of times, because like, for a second that might be hurting, and then it feels good. And then I might forget that I even hurt at all. I might completely forget that I was hungry at all. And like the harder you trip, you know, you'll experience ego death. But I think that's so cool that it, it just like strips everything away. Like, it's like really, you don't need. F I mean, you need <laughs> food, but not as much as. I mean, we eat three course meals a day. Like, you don't need that. I think it's cool because I've been through a lot of trips where like I feel like oh, I like oh I need a cigarette or like a vice or like you know how you have these physical habits, and I've noticed like when I'm on mushrooms, I'm like. Oh, I feel like I need something. Actually, never mind. Which I think has helped me deal with my habits and vices through, like, my, you know, 
voyage through the mind. Like, uh, if I have a mushroom trip that's that impactful to where like I'm like, oh, I don't even like cigarettes anymore, or like, oh, I didn't even need beer or whatever throughout the trip or whatever it is, like that'll resonate with me like the following like months. Maybe you shouldn't buy so much like, beer then. Well, yeah, I don't even really feel like drinking. I just like, I just bought it because it was nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. I start looking at life in a, in a very simplistic and mindful way of just like, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy like the sun comes up. I'm happy I have like my girlfriend. I'm happy that I have, yeah, my job's not great and it doesn't pay that well, but like, it's fine because you, you find beauty and happy in like the small things. I tried mushrooms in my teenage years, but it wasn't until my 20s where I was like, discovering you know more myself and I'm like man I haven't trip fucking haven't had a psychedelic trip in five six months like I'm starting to get back into the uh, like the structure of society where it's like for me like oh like I'm stressed out like life is supposed to be this way like and my life sucks and and like you get sucked back into that but then like I have an intense mushroom trip and it's like resets everything like life's actually pretty good. I'm trying to explain my visuals right now, but like when I'm looking at you, it's like, it's like really looks like a graphic design. Like there's like, like neon on the computer. Yeah, like there's like neon. Like like your hair will start to like do like neon shapes like around your face, and it looks like really graphic design. Like it doesn't usually like mushrooms are really like organic. That's how I always look. It's like earthy things. Yeah, but like I'm seeing like computer like. Fucking <laughs> it's really cool though, like you're really neon electric, uh, like that's what my visuals are right now, like neon electric, like pinks and, I mean that's probably just the being accentuated. I just, I just realized like, uh, <laughs> I was thinking about my mom and uh, <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know, I don't even know where to like, start with this because I'm not going to like try to explain my relationship with my mother or anything. But like, if I told my mom right now that I was vlogging a mushroom trip, she would just be like, God damn, what the fuck are you- <sighs> Like, she'd be so- like, I'm thinking about like how like pissed and stressed she would be and it, it, it just- I just was laughing myself. Like, I thought it was just fucking hilarious because like, it's so funny like, how much she cares about like the way I look and my person. Like, you're gonna put that on YouTube? Oh my goodness, like that's gonna destroy your life and you're not gonna be able to get this job because they can like search your name and find this YouTube video. And it's just like, woman, take a breath. You look hot. Oh, thanks, baby. I feel hot when I look at you. Nathan Sanguinetti here. End cap on my psilocybin mushroom trip vlog. The trip wasn't that intense. Was that long? It wasn't that long. Uh, really, I ate them at five o'clock, and by like seven thirty, do you have the time now? Like, I don't have the time. I, I pretty much, I kind of expected that's how it was gonna be. They, and within twenty minutes, I was. Within 25 minutes, I was getting visuals at the gas station. We get back home, 30 minutes later, the visuals are more intense, and I entered a phase where my thoughts became more philosophical, conversations. My girlfriend is a little hard to follow, but... Uh, that's not unusual. That's not unusual. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like... I don't think there were like parts to film that were like crazy. There was nothing like crazy for me to talk about, like introspective. I wasn't like discovering God or anything major. Um, but it was, I still learned some things from it. And I think that's really important when it comes to using entheogens, is using them as a tool for your mind. And if, if I learned anything from this trip, it's to start anew and let go of my past. I live in a new area now. I live on the other side of the country. I'm from the East Coast. And so I've had to adapt to new things. Um, you know, uh, I'm in a new relationship with.
and the relationship is great, but you know, relationships have ups and downs, but uh, I don't know, I think the mushrooms are just helping me, I think this trip is helping me to be like, okay, the past, the past, just let it be behind you, and kind of start this new journey. Overall, it's a good trip. How hard did our trip, one out of ten? Two and a half? Three? I hope this video, I hope this little vlog documentary of my mushroom experience is somewhat entertaining. And I hope there's something that you can take from it. I don't know. I don't suggest that anybody should take drugs, but I do believe that, I feel sketchy saying this, that people should have a spiritual experience maybe induced by psychedelics because it's gonna change the way you look at things especially if it's a spiritual experience it's just gonna change the way you look at, at, at life and perceive things so i don't know that's all i really have to say about it i had a good time thank you babe for coming